अच्छा और आपका दूसरा क्वेश्चन जो है कि ये लॉन्चिंग के बारे में है चंद्रयान कभी अर्थ बाउंड ग्रेविटी ऑर्बिट से मून तक जाएगा ये होगा पहले अगस्त को फर्स्ट अगस्त विल बी द ट्रांसफॉर्मर इंजेक्शन गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस एज पर द नॉमिनल प्रोग्राम सो वी विल हैव फोर अर्थ बाउंड मैन्यूवर्स आफ्टर दैट इट विल हैव द लूना इंजेक्शन ऑन फर्स्ट ऑगस्ट after that it will be captured in 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 moon then it will become uh, our orbit propulsion module lander module separation will happen on 17th of august so final power descent and landing is currently planned on 23rd august at 5:47 indian standard time evening so that is a current everything goes normal from today to landing that is the schedule okay thank you before launch our primary concern was to reach it in the right orbit anyway that concern is now over <laughs> okay so further concern starts so further concerns are then we have to slowly raise it to the earth moon bound orbit that will happen in next uh, four four burns which will which are scheduled then as you know it has to capture the moon if it doesn't capture moon mission is not there so the, our calculation i hope it will all be all right and it will be captured on moon then it will be an elliptical orbit then it has to be a 100 km circular orbit that's another three four maneuvers then on the destinate designated day it has to reduce from 100 km to 30 km and then land on the moon precisely soft landing so all these regimes are equally critical i don't think the landing alone is not critical every step is critical so we wait for the next 42 days of work please watch us we will update you on every step what we are going to do whether it is successful or we have a problem you will come to know thank you ये तो बढ़िया क्वेश्चन है हमारे चार वर्ष का काम हम चार मिनट में बताना है तो बढ़िया कष्ट होगा तो मैं ये सिर्फ ये करूंगा कि देर वॉज ए फेलर फॉर अस तो वॉट यू डिसाइडेड फाइंड आउट वॉट वेन रॉन्ग फर्स्ट स्टेप दैट टू ऑलमोस्ट वन ईयर सेकेंड स्टेप वॉट यू कैन डू करक्शन आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक इट बेटर देन वी लुक एट वॉट मोर कैन गो रॉन्ग और कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम्स है हिडन हिडन रहते हैं उसमें तो वो सब we brought out through reviews testing etc then the third year was all testing we went on so many tests which was not done last time and final year was final assembly and preparation so it was a period of very great reviews mental agonies specimens new equipments were realized entire design was redone software re, re verified we brought so many people to review our designs once again and we did hundreds of test class two years to prove that it is good today to go for launch so it has been a big journey for the team i have to congratulate the team sitting here not me uh, there are there is a big team thousands of people i think we have to maybe after this we will introduce them yeah, but i i think uh, somanath is being very modest it is not a failure i mean it would not be fair to say it was a failure because if you go even statistically most of the countries have not been able to successfully land in the first attempt so going by that comparative analysis we are statistically better off than all the other countries our record of landing in the first attempt or in the second attempt many others have landed successfully or absolutely only in the third or the fourth attempt. having said that it was also not a failure because only last 12 kilometers you had some shortcomings which did not live up to your expectation actually your expectation level was very high you wanted to accomplish through that mission many many things which 
possibly you could have you know kept off for the next mission which did not happen so it did not the agenda and we signed by us could not get accomplished in its totality so that was kind of a disappointment but our lander is there she reached there orbiter is still orbiter is still there so it's uh, it's uh, just like that uh, you 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 take a you board a vehicle or a transport bus it takes you to the destination it uh, reaches there but there is a jhatka in the brake as you sometimes find in the landing of the aircraft so it's not a failure but it fell short of the of our uh, envy side agenda which now they have not only supplement and, and that is with every case even if it was successful from our point of view we would have still learned from it because every even the successful mission uh, gives you a, a hint about certain pitfalls which you realize okay this went off well but it should have not been like that if i could have done it this way so every every successive mission is an improvement on the earlier mission and here in you also had certain buffer components brought in as uh, somnath ji saying i will also request you to look at the tweets of our honorable prime minister modi ji he has given tweets on chandrayaan 1 what brought out what was accomplishment of chandrayaan 1 he also brought out tweet on chandrayaan 2 what are the scientific outcome the accomplishment of chandrayaan 2 and also hoped that chandrayaan 3 will go well kindly look at his uh, last uh, two days of tweets he has brought out with very well thank you ചെയർമാൻ and in beginning of chandrayaan program there was a scientific goal set what you want to find out what is unique that you can find out what others are not done and that is how we found out water on the moon on chandrayaan 1 because in a, yeah. in, a, in a way not only is this mission comparatively better than many other missions by the other countries also it is totally indigenous and as we mentioned chandrayaan 1 though they may have landed before us but the discovery of water on the surface of the moon was brought by chandrayaan one now this is going to go one step further more so because it's landing on the south polar area correct where you have different kinds of craters and all so it's just moving from one level to the other level. see we have, yeah yes sir. we all know how the prime minister is interested in this uh, space research did the prime minister speak to you guys uh, after the successful launch oh, no, he 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 is abroad he is treated and uh, is he going to be there on 23 and the uh, that we do work out but of course uh, uh, i have no hesitation to say that all this uh, uh, has been possible also because there is a huge lot of individual indulgence by prime minister modi this whole ecosystem has developed because in the last 4 5 years uh, beginning from you know opening the space sector to the private players then putting in place an interface called in space Uh, to deal with the private sector to coordinate with the private sector then putting up a psu called new space uh, india limited so all this is an ecosystem which has supplemented the resources both human resources as well as financial resources now the 140 odd startups private startups who are working over here in collaboration with isro are also actually contributing both human resource wise because there's a huge lot of young talent happening there so it's it's an ecosystem which has made this task easier and that's also because the prime minister modi is always been forthcoming as far as our uh, ex- experiments and missions are concerned subhrajit subhrajit one second what about subhrajit what about madam subhrajit you have to use the mic otherwise we can't hear my mic is like subhrajit stick mic and i said congratulations to your team but i'm a bit confused about this uh, Why did you not have a full fit job at this time? Is propulsion module, is spacecraft, and I'm a bit confused about it. And the second question is, uh, what is the progress you have made on human space flight program? And okay, we will. Yeah, yeah, we will limit to the Chandrayaan three today. Why 
humans the orbiter okay the on the orbiter i will answer orbiter is still there orbiter is orbiter that is what we were saying in response to the earlier yeah. uh, what you said see the orbiter had scientific experiments last time this time it doesn't have scientific experiment but we added one luck towards the last time so it doesn't it doesn't have a function of being an in orbit and do any active function that's why we don't call it orbiter and it doesn't have a relay function as we have when we saw it last time for communication so our chandrayaan 2 orbiter is going to do that function so in view of this there is no need of vad and orbiter we need only a propulsion module to reach up to the moon hence there is a need of so i believe your confusion on that topic is over the focus this time is on in situ <coughs> experiments on the surface of moon and therefore the agenda is set like agenda that. is say yes different <laughs> I said confidence they have inherited as legacy. <laughs> If you see the pictures of Sara Bhai carrying launcher vehicle on the carriage of a bicycle with uh, no resource available and people like you and me singing nursery rhyme sitting home, Chanda Mama Dhur Ke and uh, USA preparing to land on the surface of the moon. This is early 60s. They are already preparing. Apollo series have started. So the huge lot of confidence is there but what is appreciable is that it is not a misplaced confidence the confidence coming out of substance and the acumen that is inherent to our indian talent sir sir if i can now i am going to give you further just two days before i have seen this video of you show where you have invited private players for tour transport technology what exactly it is can i ask uh, our uh, in, in space chairman dr pavan goy kumar goy sir you can you can from there sir can you answer No, no. He's saying the transfer technology going car. Pavan, about saying the startups in the transfer technology. How would you accommodate them? That's what he was asking. Yeah. See, uh, ISRO has a treasure of technologies, and as they started to coming up. it makes a lot of sense for them to not not redevelop the technologies and isro can transfer technologies to startups and startups will take it and take it forward uh, and so right now is very aggressively identifying technologies that they will transfer and in space is only facilitating the technology transfer all the technologies will come from isro okay yeah but uh, No, the, 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 the space is open for private sector. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not the private sector is open. Uh, what are the kind of key developments that the private sector industries have contributed for this mission? Can you name some critical components that were provided by them, or some companies that were invaluable to this uh, mission? Uh, if I start listing, it will be long. Just a few, sir. Just a few. Okay. Well, the first thing to say is in the rocket which took place, that LVM three rocket. 85% of the money spent on the rocket is in industry okay the only the value of the rocket just 15% of the work was done only within isro this is first point so to corroborate it the entire materials the entire manufacturing of everything that you are seeing outside the rocket also inside the rocket is also coming from industry the only the processing part final processing part quality control the mission design the final operations only done by isro Another thing is there are industries now working within ISRO's facilities now. They it's called our mission director used to be called Guru Goko, government-owned, company-operated mode. There are many facilities operating to produce critical systems inside. Tomorrow they will go out and do it on their own. They are supplying. For example, in the R of systems that is there in this launch vehicle, nine, eight out of the nine systems in this rocket is produced in in private industries in a Goko mode, and many things in that are done in such facilities. so industry's contribution is very enormous coming to the chandrayaan 3 also the hardware which you are visibly there 
are many of them are from industries but the industry cont contribution in satellites are actually lower not as much as a rocket today